Yesterday, I got a question that was very interesting. How can we use a flow to copy list item from one list to another? We know there is a copy file action, but there is no copy list. So how do we do that is going to be very interesting. Uh, typically, you can say, OK, I read, it, read the item from one place, and then I create the item in another list. Well, yes. Uh, but if it was not because of something very interesting, I wouldn't have made the video for this. So let's get into it and see the surprises in flow creation. Let's have a quick look into the problem definition. We have two lists. We have list one and list two. They are located on two separate SharePoint sites, site one and site two. By the way, these are modern sites. So two communication sites, basically each one of them is a separate site collection. So because they are in two separate site collections, we do not have a shared content type. Regardless, every time an item is created in list one, we need to take a copy of it and take it to list two. I really didn't want to do it without content type, so I decided to take it to the next level. So. I went to the SharePoint Online Content Type Hub and I created a content type here and then I published it to the entire tenancy. Then I could go there and add it to list one and list two. If you have worked with the Content Type Hub, that's fantastic. If you haven't, you may want to look it up. But if you're interested to learn about Content Type Hub and how you can share a content type across site collections, just put it in the comments below and I will show you how to do it. It's been actually a long time since I wanted to do that, but I never felt like, okay, who's going to be interested in the content type hub? So let's go first to the content type hub and I will show you the content type that we created. Then we will go to site one and site two and we will see the setup. Then we will go to the Power Automate and we create a flow that whenever an item is created in list one, it takes a copy of it and creates it on list two. This is the SharePoint Online Content Type Hub. So whatever the tenancy that you have, if you go to the slash sites slash content type hub, there is a dedicated content type hub in every SharePoint Online tenancy. We used to create it ourselves and enable the services on SharePoint Online. You really don't need to do that. Microsoft has done it for you. So whatever the content type that you create here, you can publish it for the entire tenancy. So basically all the site collections will inherit that. To do that, I went here to site setting and under site content types and under site content types, I created a content type called demo content type. And if I open it, you will see there is title, city, company, email, and hobbies. And each one of them is a site column. Doesn't matter. After it is done, I clicked on Manage Publishing for this content type, and I clicked on Publish, and I pressed OK. If I make any changes in this content type, I can republish it and press OK. Uh, the only thing is that if you do that, it usually takes around an hour for this content type to be published to the other site collections. Regardless, I have done that before, and now if I go to the other two sites that I told you, site one, under site one, I have list one, and this list one, actually, if you want to see the content types under list setting, it has the demo content type, and I also add the same thing to the site two, under list two, if I go again to the list settings, again, we have the demo content type, so we have identical content types in both sites, which means they have identical content type ID, which is great. This is exactly what we want. So now if I copy an item from list one in site one to list two in site two, I can copy the fields and the content type. So even if there is a mix of content types in site one, in list one, I can basically copy every record 
with the right content type. Now let's see how we can do it in Flow. As always, I go to flow.microsoft.com. I click on Create. And just like before, I do it with Instant Flow and I skip everything. First, I give it a name. I say list item copy demo. And we want to use SharePoint. I click on SharePoint and when an item is created. Fantastic. Now, I need to pick the source site, so I go to site one. I get a link here. I go to the flow, click, and oh gosh, custom value. And I just paste the URL here. So this is my source. The list name that I want to pick is list one. Now here's the interesting part. If I click on show advanced option, it has only one option, which is avoid column threshold issues by only using columns defined in the view. At the moment, every column that I want to copy is there. But if it is not there, there are columns that you have, but you don't display it in the default view. And you want to bring everything here, even the hidden fields, you can click on this and you can say use all columns. So basically no limit for the columns that you want to bring. I use this one so that we see what are the other uh, columns that they come here backstage. So, so far, whenever an item is created on list one, on site one, we get a copy of it inside flow. On the next step, we need to, again, go to SharePoint, select, and I go to create item. When I click on create item, I can pick the second site URL. I already have it. If you don't have it, just again, go to custom and just copy it and paste the URL. The list name is gonna be list two. This is the interesting part. I have title, city, company, and blah, 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 and all those things, including content type ID. And I have this content type ID again, because if I go here, I've actually added the content type to the view. Now, here is the interesting part. Here, we also have advanced options. And in this advanced option, Again, it says avoid column threshold. So it basically shows everything that I have in the view. But if I click on this drop down, it says use all columns, do not limit. And if I click on it, you don't get anything. I wish Microsoft fixed this. Basically, I was expecting to see a long list that I can work with it. And to make it even worse, if I want to go back to where I was and I say, okay, uh, all items, and you see it doesn't even bring it back. This is very interesting. So basically, we are kind of stuck here, and this UI is not doing the job. Which means, when we are in a situation like this, we delete it, and we add it again. So SharePoint, I go to Create item, create item, I click on here, site two is my destination, I pick list two, this time I do not go for the advanced option, so I do not touch this item, I go for the title, I get the title from when the item is created, and now you see because this one basically gets all the fields, you see a long list of columns. Title, I get the title from here. City, I get a city from here. Company, I get a company from here. Email, I get email from here. Hobbies, 
if there is any field like hobbies we get it from here and here is the interesting part I can pick the content type from the drop down or I can enter the custom value and I can come here to the source and I get the content type ID and bring it here okay keep it in mind we have content type name and we have content type ID when we want to assign the content type ID we assign it we assign the ID to ID and we are done let me just save it okay got it now let's go and test it save again I go to site one I add a new item here there is only one content type here title is going to be test item for demo city Mississauga company home where for example email my email at somewhere.com hobbies hunting fishing loving every day and there's no attachment I click on save and we're good to go let's go to the other site under list 2 and see if we get it now if you remember depending on your subscription that may take something between two three minutes for the paid subscription to something around 15 minutes for a free subscription of flow so if I refresh it hopefully I will see it not yet so let's get so let's wait and see when it's gonna show up there we go we got lucky we got it in less than 30 seconds and we have exactly all the fields that we had in site one inside site two now here is a question what about the other fields how can I transfer the files that they are not there while I do not have access to this uh, to the other fields we're using the create item well the answer is very simple always you have a plan B called SharePoint REST API you can always use the SharePoint REST API like here let me just Google it so SharePoint REST API create list item so I just go to the first link and let's search for create and let's see not here create list item here is the rest api basically you can add any fields that you want when you create and uh, this one always works how to call it from inside microsoft flow i already have a youtube video i just put the link right on the top of this video you can click on it and watch it so basically it gives you full access to do everything that the web api can do from microsoft flow when you want to do something inside sharepoint i hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching and see you in the next video